by with Brandon and Brandon. Today, we're eating freeze-dried foods at the zombie outpost. We are preparing for the zombie apocalypse. This whole store, the zombie apocalypse here in Old Colorado City on the outskirts of Colorado Springs is here to prepare you for the zombie apocalypse. And as you know, we love to eat. We've ranked top five everything that you can name. But we've not done this or anything even close to this. So we're going freeze dried and we're gonna be ready. We're gonna be ready for the zombie apocalypse. Are you excited? So what is first, my son? We have the freeze-dried diced chicken. Freeze-dried, you add water and it turns into real chickens. Now, I know that all of these are not gonna be four-star meals. <laughs> you have to think. In the zombie apocalypse though, you're gonna be thankful for a bag of chicken that you had to add a cup and a half of water to. I think it's, actually it doesn't smell bad at all. It smells pretty good. Smell like <laughs> it smells like chicken. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stir it up a little more. Are you ready to do this? Sure. All right, here we go. I'm, I'm ready. I mean, it's chicken. It's just chicken. Not too bad. Why? Yeah, that is good. It's pretty bad, but not too bad. I don't think it, it tastes like chicken jerky. Kind of. If you pretend that this is chicken jerky, you'll like it more. Oh man. You can put that on nachos and stuff with some cheese. And... It's kind of crunchy. It was freeze dried. <laughs> what do you expect? I don't know. What are you going to give this one? By the way, what is our voting? What do we, how do we do this? Oh yeah, we're trying to do it. Um... We vote from one to five, including halves. One is terrible. Five is amazing. Okay. What are you gonna give this? Three. You're gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. It's really not that bad at all. Dare I say, I'm gonna give it a four. So, freeze dried chicken. Seven points out of ten. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. What is next, my friend? We have the freeze-dried chicken pilaf. Freeze-dried pilaf. Say that again? Freeze-dried chicken pilaf. Freeze-dried chicken pilaf. That is not easy to say. But I have to say, this one smells better than the first one. It's really, 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 really aromatic. Just added another cup and a half of water. You ready to do this? Look at that. Look at that. Yum, yum. I think it needs a little more time in the water because it's a little crunchy. Mm -hmm. But I can tell that that would be really good. Let me stir this up a little more. Stir it up a little more. Now keep in mind, you all love, you know, the, 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 the zombie movies. Night of the Living Dead, Walking Dead. Uh, what am I forgetting? Um, yeah, a lot of them. This is what you're going to have to eat when all that comes true. Mm. That is good. You taking a bite? Yes, sir. I want to give that a solid three and a half. Where are you going? What do you need? Three and a half. Three and a half? Three and a half. Yeah. All right. The owner of this place is keeping score. Solid seven for chicken peel off. All right. All right. Here we go. That might have to come home with us. Mike wave it up. That's really good. Some good old freeze dried corn. Good old freeze dried corn. No salt, no butter, not on the cob, but freeze dried in a bag, adding a half a cup and a half of hot water. Mm -hmm. See, they have vegetables in green, they have fruit packages over there in orange, and then they have the full meals, which we've been doing. So, this is kind of a side dish. But here we go. It smells like corn. Ah. Needs butter. <laughs> Needs a little salt. Needs not to be freeze dried, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, again, if the water was boiling like it should have been, 
first of all, I'd be burning my hands, but it would probably, you know, not be as crunchy, but. Crunchy just isn't really a problem. Yeah, it does taste a little cardboardish. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a one. Um, maybe a one too. One, it's gonna get a total of two out of 10 bad corn. Bad corn. <laughs> Number four. Freeze dried vegetable stew with beef. Vegetable stew with beef, which kind of doesn't make sense. It's not vegetable stew if it has beef. It could be beef stew with vegetables. I'm just stalling as I'm cooking here. <laughs> oh, this smells pretty good too. I don't even know what's in there. You like peas, right? Yeah. You like potatoes. Mm -hmm. You like beef. Yep. So there we go. All kinds of little little bit of stuff in there. Can you see that? It smells good though. You ready? Sure. Here we go. Like that. Okay, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it tastes like like cardboard. Yeah. With some freeze-dried peas in there that haven't fully cooked yet. Yeah. I gotta try it again because it maybe I just got a bad one. Yeah. Oh no. Oh boy. As good as the first two were, the last two were pretty bad. Yeah, one and a half. But again, if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, you'd be grateful to have this. You'd be like Give me the, the beef stew, please. I mean, it's it's so good, I'm so happy. I'm gonna keep eating it for some reason. Let me give it a one and a half. You're giving it a one and a half? I'm gonna give it a one and a half. Three for the beef stew! <laughs> sure you don't want another bite? Oof. Okay, for number five, it's something that he may not enjoy too much because you're not a big fan of beans. I don't think I'm You have to try the, the wiener, though. No. Oh. Look, just try the wiener. Otherwise, it's, we have to, all of this was for naught. You're trying the frank. Here you go. Reach in there and grab a frank. There's one right there. I'll put it on your fork. You're going to be okay. You're acting like you're trying to get you to take a vitamin or something. Down. <laughs> you put that in your mouth. All right. This one smells really good. It kind of smells like barbecue. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. That was both a good and bad bite. What's wrong with you? Not at all. Ah, you're psyching yourself out, I think. The beans are good. The franks one. are not. <laughs> you're giving that a one? I'm going to give it a solid three. Uh, so four for the frank and beans. It smells really good. The beans are really good. Unfortunately, you don't like beans, but the Franks uh, need to cook a lot longer. So it's supposed to take pretty instantly. But uh, again, if you're starving, you're walking around a destroyed city, being chased by the undead. If you stop for five minutes, you pour some water into one of these, you're gonna be the happiest person left on earth. It's not that bad. It's just like really bad soup. <laughs> He's dying over here. <laughs> okay, before we give you the winner, he tabulated the score. This is Puri with uh, this, you have a zombie outpost apocalypse awesome shop right here in Old Colorado City. Absolutely. That's awesome. How did this happen? So, our, myself and my business partner and our wives, um, we've been survivalists for a long time since we started having kids. I'm sure you totally get it. You yeah, know? camouflage on the day, huh? Yeah, there you go. Well, me, me, I just glow in the dark. Well, you're, you know? you're pitching so, the product, though. Yeah. But, uh, no, we, we've been into survival for 25 years. Our families all love The Walking Dead. You throw the two of them together, and here you are at the Colorado Zombie Outpost. <laughs> um, so awesome. you, you take a little bit of the fun from the zombies and put it in with the with the survival, and then it's not you're not dreading the end of the world. You're having some fun with it. No, we're having definitely having fun. 
uh, there's noises coming from over here. I'm trying to it's, <laughs> yeah. There's it's a hundred year old building. It's is it haunted? whatever happens. We'll see. Is it haunted? Because we while. do another show, you know. Stay a little while. Let's see what happens. But you also have camping gear like and table. fun stuff. And your son's over here. You can come out here too. Yeah, your boy. Before we get to the tabulations, what was your favorite one? Uh, probably the the rice. The chicken, the chicken, chicken rice one. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, what was your favorite one? You tried them all. The, the chicken peel off was one of the better it's ones. It's pretty yeah. Damn good. Okay. Yeah. What was our scores though? Because we're gonna. All right. And so, first of all, while he's tabulating the scores, if you want any of this stuff, any cool zombie stuff, if you want just survival stuff, my kid collects knives. Yes, he collects knives. Get over it. Well, he buys them here. They're really great prices. Really great prices. I don't want to tell you how good your prices are because then you'll raise them. Uh, we're we're good. We're good. <laughs> There's a dog over there, so you got cuteness. You've got zombies. You got everything right here. <laughs> Food right here. So, what was last place? I think I can guess. What do you got? Corn. Corn. Corn was at two. It was last place. Corn had two points. I'll let you uh, throw away the losers over there. What was number vegetable? Oh, the vegetable soup. Uh, that was really number four. That was really number four. Oh, sorry, vegetable. That soup. came in with the three. Okay, and number three. Frank and beans. Frank and beans was number three. I didn't that hate it. That came in with four. It. And yeah, that was one that didn't even make it all the way through. With you, did it? Yeah. We're down, we're down between uh, the, the, the diced chicken, the freeze dried diced chicken, and the freeze dried chicken peel off. Which one will be the winner? I think I know what it is. I think I do too. You gentlemen need to take another taste and decide if it's a seven because that's oh, what they're both tied at. They're both tied at. I think we'll let you guys choose. And I think I, we already did. I'm going with the peel off. Peel off. You're going with the peel off. Peel off. All right, peel off takes peel off. Place. Freeze dried peel off. Number one with seven points, or actually seven, eight, nine points. So there we go. Awesomeness. That is your winner. This place is great, man. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. We need I'm to do more of these kind came. of. We need to do more of these kind of on the spot things, play type episodes, and uh, let's have more do fun it. With it. So now we're gonna go buy some knives. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, next time let's do it. We're playing with swords and see which one. You know how you know how they, you watch Forge of Fire. Oh wait, you got that other one over there. You told us about. Oh one yeah. One <laughs> uh, after uh, after Forge of Fire. Oh, that'll be our bonus. This is yeah. We got a dessert. We got to do a Here bonus. Do that. So uh, that thing's a brick, by the way. Yes, it is. Um, we'll uh, we'll figure out a way to test some of these swords on uh, on. Oh, I'll find something mannequin or something that we can. <laughs> well, what is that first? So it's got a warning. This is a four hundred calorie apple cinnamon food. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Brick. It just says food brick. Here, I'll let you guys break that one up. Are you excited to eat a food brick? It's kind of more than a granola bar. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells like a granola bar. You go first. You're my test dummy. Right. I could do it with a lot of water. <laughs> yeah. A lot of water. Oh, yeah. Not too bad, but it's just really dry. Yeah. <laughs> you know what though? If you put this in some boiling water, you can almost make it like an oatmeal out of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. I think we lost the kids. <laughs> I don't hate this at all. I don't either, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to rank that one. We're just going to let it slide. But thank you so much, man. Colorado Zombie Outpost here in Old Colorado City. Do you ship things to people? We do. Okay. ColoradoZombieOutpost.com. Your kids are dying over there. Oh, you're great. <laughs>